Hi everybody and welcome. I'm coach Carolyn, former professional tour player and now social media golf coach. For you, whenever you don't have time to take an actual lesson, I am here for you. Today, I want to talk to you guys about your weight shift and your balance in the golf swing. And especially those of you guys who struggle with translating the power into your downswing, into your ball. A lot of the time it's because you are not sure what you're supposed to be doing with your weight going back. And if you don't have the right weight transfer going back, you cannot possibly have the correct weight transfer going through the ball and into impact. So let's talk about it. So a lot of you guys really want to focus on your turn back in the backswing. And that's awesome. I love a good turn back. Without a good turn back, we can't go anywhere. However, sometimes what I see with my students is that the focus on the turn back loses the focus on your weight in your backswing. So what I see a lot of the time, it's a very common mistake, but it's also a pretty detrimental one to the rest of your swing is if people are like, oh, I'm going to really wind up. Okay, so where's my weight now? My weight's on my front foot, right? You see this because people are like, I am gonna turn as much as I can. And again, not a bad thing to turn as much as you can, but you have to turn as much as you can in the correct way without losing your form. And this is losing your form. You are coming out of your form because you are essentially kind of stack and tilting and you never get your weight onto your right side in the backswing. The problem with this is if you have your weight on your lead foot at the top of your backswing, where can it go from here? Not forward. You're already forward. You're already there. The only way of where it's going to go is back. And do you see this? This is the issue. When you don't have the correct weight with going back, your body is going to counteract it because it's on top or in front of the ball, depending on how much you do it. And now your body tries to, you know, compensate and tries to get back behind the ball. And I see people kind of jumping out, straightening their left leg, bailing out and almost spinning out with their hips. And that's going to cause casting. It's going to cause pushes, pulls, whatever. It could really go anywhere in any direction. So we want to make sure we understand what we have to do going back. So what we have to do going back is we got to make sure that at least 10 to 15 percent, that's how I feel it, goes into my right foot. So I'm not, you know, swaying. I'm not moving my hips this way, but I am rotating and kind of stacking over my right foot a lot more than my left foot. My left foot is just kind of here for the ride. My left leg, there's not a whole lot of tension here, right? This is, this is kind of, you know, just hanging out. This, I'm really coiled and stacked over it. And I love to refer to the back turn as a coil, not so much as a turn. Because, you know, turning, this, this could be turning. I'm turning. Here, I'm turning everything. I'm also turning this way. It's also turning. I just turned around, right? Turning misses the point in golf that there has to be some resistance. Coil, however, does imply that there is some sort of force at play that you're coiling against. So that's why I love to refer to the backswing as a coiling motion versus a turning motion because the upper body will coil against the lower, lower body to a certain extent. So as I'm coiling back, my hips are turned half to my shoulders. So 90 degree, 45 degree. We've covered this in a couple of other videos. So make sure you go back and watch them. I'm going to link them below for you guys. But now making sure you feel like your left shoulder turns under your chin and you're stacking over your, your trail foot. For me, it's my right foot. Now I'm here, I'm loaded about, you know, 60%, 60, 40 on my trail side, maybe 65 to 35 on my trail side. It depends on the club, depends on the shot I'm hitting. Some shots I want to cover more, but on a stock shot, let's agree to 60, 40. Now you're here. Now, because you're 60% here, you have room to actually shift over and be able to initiate your downswing with your hips and with that weight shift and be able to actually come through and really well transfer your weight onto your left foot. If you feel like you're falling out of your finish, if you feel like you're doing this and your left foot kind of lifts, it's likely because your weight actually is on your left foot going back and it never gets to your right foot. So here's a really simple drill that you guys can do. And I recommend you guys doing this without a ball. It's very difficult to do with a ball. So I recommend you guys do this as a practice swing. You start with your legs almost all the way together. It doesn't have to be always or like all the way together, but you start right around here. As you reach halfway back, you're going to step out a little bit with your right foot. And as you reach the top, you're going to step out a little bit with your left foot. So this is what it's going to look like. It's 
Let's do that again. And that kind of helps you understand first the weight needs to go this way, then the weight has to go that way. And again, it is not a, it's not a sway with your hips. We want to make sure we turn, turn a little bit behind the ball. To me, personally, it feels like if I have a ball here, it feels like I'm turning a little bit behind the ball, actually, with my head, with my body. I'm not staying on top of it. If I feel like I would stay on top of it, I would have to kind of stay here and it stacks me more on my left side. Personally, I like to feel like I'm turning a little bit behind the ball with my head even, not a ton, but a little bit. And that allows me to actually shift forward and get my weight towards the target. So let's hit a ball with this. Really nice, really smooth, good contact. So essentially, if you don't get your weight shift correctly in your backswing, you'll never be able to get it correct in your downswing. Because really the golf swing is a game of opposites. If you're doing this, you're gonna do that. If you're going back, you're gonna go forward. So let's make sure we understand it. Let's make sure we do it. Next time you're on the range, make sure you kind of watch what your feet are doing, how you're standing in your finish. If you feel like you don't have your full weight on your front foot in your finish, try this little drill. Go back to this video, try to implement this. Let me know what you think. I always love to hear from you guys and I cannot wait to see you next time. If this is your first time here on my channel, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate every new subscriber. Let me know what you wanna see next. I'm here to help you. This is why I do what I do. So if you guys leave me a comment below with what you're struggling with, and what you want to be working on, what you want me to explain to you, please let me know. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I cannot wait to work with you guys. See you next time.